Hello, it's Colette from the Sacred Rose Temple. There's so much content at the moment that I could speak about in this crazy collective, you know, pool of chaos and disorder as we transcend into a, a, a new way as human beings and as consciousness is really beginning to tap on our door and bang down all of our constructs and say, you need to change in this way that you are living isn't working anymore. And I know that from the work I'm doing with my own clients and, and on myself that there are many ways in which we have operated as human beings that is no longer serving our planet or humanity or society, in fact. And this is going to take a huge amount of self-reflection as a person to be weeding out the shadows and the patterns and the zones of comfort that we have decided to sit in that is detrimental to others and the whole wider world around us. So it's a time of challenging our own beliefs and it's a time of challenging our own shadow behaviours and not thinking that we have got it made or that we know the answers, but assuming that we don't so that we're open and teachable. It's something I've noticed recently in the spiritual world of, of teachers and I think my attention gets drawn you know, weekly to people who come to me and speak about just shaky foundations of teaching and working with people of the lack of devotion to sacred practice, the lack of devotion to initiation and taking on a body of work. Um, I posted this week earlier about my uh, womb keeping course and the women that have been journeying with me. There are three women on that course that have journeyed with me for three years and they have year on year dedicated themselves to a daily practice, meditation, monthly transmissions, questions and answers and initiatory practices that are working them Cells through their wombs so they are able to teach other women from a truly embodied place. And I think it's really lacking in our collective that kind of really deep initiatory work. My own Druid studies is a training that can take me many, many years. The whole process of initiation is that it's not really, you know, laid out in time frequency. It's about the initiations. It's about the work that you put in. It's about the devotion. And when we devote and when we're dedicated and when we give into a body of work, we are equally gifted back the you know in my own druid work the more I practice the more realms that open up the more gifts the more insights the more realizations that I am given and it takes a lot of work I meditate every morning I do my practice I create ceremony in order to allow the unseen and the druid legends and world to open up within my own psyche and my own ancestry and so I just want to put out there into your own minds about your own foundations from where you're working from, whether that's in spiritual work or just, you know, everyday work. I know that being good at what you do takes a lot of practice and takes a lot of dedication and it's time consuming. When I was a yoga teacher, for example, I had trained in over 10 modalities of yoga. It was what I did every day. It was what I constantly learned. I was always on workshops. I was always reading. I was always on courses studying and I was always going away on retreats to train. And it was my life. And what I embodied from that dedication and devotion and time was what I then returned to others in methods of teaching. So that's what it takes to become a teacher. That's what it takes to become good at what you are doing. And these are even lessons I tell my son, you know, we all can be good at anything should we choose to devote to it and practice it. A pianist an amazing pianist is amazing because they spend daily practice in front of their piano. Brilliant runners run every single day. 
vocals, people who work with vocals sing every day, amazing dancers practice dance every day. So it's thinking about what it is that you absolutely want to live by and teach or do as a living that you are devoted to. And I know that for me, it's a whole array of things I, I daily assert to meditation and, you know, things like healthy eating and herbal medicine and gardening and druid practice and Jungian work. I like a really full cup, as you all know, those that know me. So that's why my life is full with these things is because I give the time, the energy and the devotion to them. So I want to leave you to uh, with this notion in your mind about the things that you would love to do, who you would like to become and what you would like to do. And, and that in itself is a huge question. And then once you know what it is, then what are you actually doing to devote to that? Are you doing that every single day? And it might be that you already are. It might be that your life is consumed by one thing and maybe that's what you should be doing. So as we move through a different consciousness in our collective, it's really asking us to readdress what we're doing, where we're putting our time and how we're devoted to certain causes and specialisms and modalities that will help our world. So I'm leaving you with that thought. I'm wishing you a most blessed